Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Terry. We are two big women on a couch. We are witty, edgy, and not apologetic about the things we think, do, and say. So today, Terry, I was reading about how the dating, online dating, is obviously really a big deal, right? A lot of people found their mates, partners, yep. or whatever on online dating. But I was reading today how folks who want to date someone in prison, that there is more than ample opportunity, that those actual websites are on the rise, that there are more and more dating sites for people who want to date people in prison. Uh, and it keeps growing. Wow, that really surprises me. Yeah, I'm surprised by that too because I'm I'm just kind of curious, like, <clears throat> who? What would be the the profile of someone who would deliberately seek out someone who's in prison, you know, right. who's incarcerated to to date? I mean, what kind of? I'm not making any kind of uh, criticism of that person per se, but I'm just very curious about what kind of person would reach out like that. For someone who's pretty much not available, especially somebody who might be put away for life. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I I really can understand that, and I'm not sure. I don't know what a, what the motivation would be to do that. It seems to me that um, they would certainly not be available to you in. I don't know. Like they really couldn't support you um, in your day to day life. I wouldn't think, and and I don't mean just support you with financially. I mean even emotionally support you, and there would certainly would be no really physical kind of intimacy that you could have. Yeah, it, it just seems like you could be like pen pals or something. I mean, right. You know, I mean, yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, you, you could certainly visit, I suppose, or, or whatever, but it just seems, I don't know, just, just like you're giving up your life for someone who's not available to you. Right. Uh, and, and, and it really interests me, those who choose the really hardened, criminals like the ones mm -hmm. who have done things over and you know they're there because they've they've done some really bad stuff you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know i mean everybody needs love no doubt right but mm -hmm. i don't know you know and uh so i was talking to a friend of mine actually before actually reading the article as a matter of fact uh so it was kind of really interesting that it kind of came up and she was telling me about somebody that she knows who uh who was married and her husband mm -hmm. was accused of rape uh, raping someone, you know, and was put away for 25 years. And the wow. Wife, yeah, the, well, well, the, the wife <clears throat> continued to go every Saturday, every single Saturday for 25 years to visit him in prison, okay? So, I mean, mm -hmm. I understand you're standing by your man, you know, he did something that you might not think he did. He was, a, I don't know, right, wrong, or whatever. But anyway, she stood by her man went every Saturday for 25 years to be with him and to see him and to whatever in prison. And mm -hmm. uh, he got out uh, last year, and within nine months, he had left her for another woman. Oh, my gosh. You know, so that just is, you know, I don't know. That's That would be horrific. I can't even imagine that. I can't, you know, it's almost, but, but then you think about these women that, you know, marry somebody like in their 20s, and then, you know, when they get to be in their 40s or maybe their early 50s, then their husband divorces them for somebody younger or something. It's kind of the that whole same kind of thing about giving up your youth and, you know, and then just to kind of have somebody move on. It's it's it's, it's kind of a tough situation to be in, I would think. Yeah, that was really tough. And then um, and then the other thing, you know, back to just generally going to a dating site and meeting somebody in prison uh, you know, what do you get out of it? I think you and I were talking about this earlier. You know, what do you get out of it? I mean, yeah. uh, okay, maybe you have a pen pal, somebody you communicate with. Uh, maybe you fall in love and that kind of boosts whatever, you know, you need boosted in your life or whatever. And the person who's on the receiving end of it, the person who, who was, you know, the prisoner or whatever, you know, certainly, hey, look, they're getting all kinds of stuff. They're getting you to pay their their little, you know, what is it, the little charge card that they can call out. Right. To they're getting you to send them goodies or whatever you're allowed to take into the, you know, to the prison or whatever and so forth. But um, I just can't, I just can't see it. I mean, again, to each his or her own, but I can't see it. I certainly can't either. I think it would, I think you would be giving up a great deal for very little back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. This one, I'm real curious what our listeners think. I really would love some feedback on this topic because, um, you know, maybe some of them actually, um, have known people who have done this, or maybe they themselves have, or whatever. And again, we're not being critical. You know, I'm just trying to 
really understand. So would love yep. some feedback on this topic. And uh, you can find us and uh, a whole bunch of people over at our website, twobigwomenonacouch.com. We'd love for people to come over there and um, hang out with some of the folks, mostly women, a couple of great guys uh, who are talking about all kinds of stuff. But it happens to be a community for plus size, uh, particularly plus size women. So twobigwomenonacouch.com. I'm Kim. I'm Cherry. We thank you for being here.